I'm here because the fire alarm went off last night and they want me to just service the boiler real fast. Dropped the pressure to zero. It was at two when I got here, so let's flush it out. It hasn't been serviced since it went in, I was told. And the glass was overfilled. All right, brought it down low enough to see the water level. Nope, still overfilled. Ooh, you're getting steamy. Gotta walk it outside, dump it. Second bucket. Still overfilled. Where is it? Yep, yeah, it is. This will be box three. Still, looks like it's overfilled. Bucket four. Okay, I can't tell anymore. So let's dump this. These are six gallons. So I have this is the fourth bucket. Figure that might be four and a half. We'll say 16 to 20 gallons I pulled out so far. Bucket five. All right. Hopefully we're getting towards the end. Sight glass will be plugged. Let's let this drain down. So we're coming towards an end here. It is 276,000 BTUs in 227 out. So getting some of the gunk out. I need to drain those little valves at the bottom. As I look around, water spilled on this floor numerous times. But let me get a little hose and at least try to not get that all over the floor. Well, let's put my feed, force water through. Force water through. That also help break some of that gunk out. Turn the feed off. And somebody asked me, well, I thought you did more commercial than residential. This is a commercial job. Look at it that dark stuff still coming out. It's a gunked up boiler, that's for sure. So I'm gonna dump it. So now I'm gonna clean out these drains. I always keep a small hose on my truck. So this way, I don't actually have I run a full hose or something like this and the 90 bit part of it is perfect 
fitting out these tight little spaces. And I retired this long ago. It makes a perfect low drain. I've been draining steamers into it for a while. See what comes through. I mean, I did flush some clean water through that and out here, so this may not be the nastiest, but now I'm going to be pulling back the rest of the building. So this way I can clear out the returns. From here down, I was not able to drain on the return because it comes up to here, and I could drain the boiler to the bottom, but the drain only drains to here. Not that bad, and I'm getting a lot of water, so. And this one's not dripping anymore, so that's a good sign. This is just going to take a little time to drain it down and then I got to clear out the controls and the sight glass. I'm going to drain under the floor of course. Let's clean the sight glass floor. It's not moving easy. Just to the top. I should get a different wrench. This is way too big. Yeah. Alright, I gotta drain that. Right, let's continue on the return. Which looks like it's coming to a close. So. here this will be good for this all right guys just open that problem is then that thing leaks and you gotta change the gauge oh, i should spray it wd Gaskets going on definitely. Possible new glass too. Never know. Hopefully it doesn't break. If it does, new glass though. Wind is blowing the door around. Boom. It was full. So that means that this or this is plugged. Or somebody closed it. Nice. <laughs> really? Somebody closed both of them. No wonder the sight glass doesn't work. Way to go. Whew. 
Still got to service them. But not sure why somebody would close them. Still draining. It's about done, so I could take it out, but we're getting some mud out. All right. Got to bring this out. Yeah, for now, put it in the big bucket. Oop, no. <laughs> awesome. Let's move the big bucket. How can I say I'm not perfect? We all make mistakes. something underneath this anyway so so anyway in case anything pours out Let's see what internals look like yeah it looks a little gunky inside so They'll have to get cleaned. I'll take this one off also. these old boilers well, this is actually pretty new so nothing came out of that gotta get these off see at times I wish I had running water Six and one. boom without running water down here, I gotta bring it outside to clean. I don't think I play on the control wire, so. Disconnect electric. I'm gonna take them both out. Side, what could I do? Nothing. Because I don't have enough slack to unspin it, do I? <laughs> That'd be awesome, but no. get a wrench. I've snapped it right off the bottom in the past. Oh. 
most people don't understand, but I find when something's got pipe dope on it, turning in a little bit helps break it free. Because you break that little bit of seal that holds the water in, and then it starts moving easier. Put the control on the side. Oh, not budging. <laughs> Doesn't want to move. There we go. Can I turn it without hitting anything? It's nothing like a little controls getting wet. that closed solid so that safety wasn't working too well it's got to get cleaned now for the other one screw maybe not where'd it go ah. when I spin it off I'll find it all right that moved See it on the ground there. Okay, I'm gonna put this right here. Uh, need that. Right there. I wonder how bad this one's gonna be. Well, that one moves at least. Oop. This one. Yeah, not a hundred percent plugged, but it's still halfway closed. So got to take these out to clean them. This is the only place I have to clean them. So where's really. It somewhat, but flip it and go full blast. A lot cleaner than it was. I'll take the remainder off. I gotta see, it looks like the chip when somebody made the glass was there before I got here. If I did it, sorry, but time for a new glass. But let's just see. Beautiful, nice and clear. Looks like somebody replaced one of these pigtails. Because they're different colors. Curious. You're getting some water through. Cool. Boom. Back flush it. I'm still going the same way, I think. Oh, 
clear. Next one. get these back in and back on the boiler I could start running it very very old building you could tell by the rock I like these old buildings problem is there is asbestosos remnants on some of the piping what are you gonna do they clean most of it off these guys are down here hard with like sandpaper and just wiping it off cutting it with razor knives whatever they had to do so now we gotta flush this oh I don't fit I don't fit That's up on top Okay, if I go like this, usually it helps hold it right under. So as it flushes, it comes in. Well, before I do that, let me just flush a little bit more through the boiler. This is done. So I don't have to do the, anything with that anymore. I'll just throw that over there for now. This stuff, on the other hand, what I want to do is get some water in the boiler. And then drain it down. So the whole return's gotta fill first because you'll see nothing. So I'm filling the return ring. Once that return is all full, piping goes all around the building all the way that way. Then we should start getting something out of here. Like now, I got the return full. So get some water in the boiler. pretty clear so there's the boiler water now the water coming out at first is just what was in the piping but this is what's coming out of the boiler I put some surge protection and boiler cleaner in but they'd never drain it so what good would that do Still a lot of gunk in here. This is why I recommend draining it all the way, or else you never get this gunk off the bottom. up again I want to get water inside here turn it off take this pail Boom. I might not be able to fit it let's see yeah. so uh, let's use my shot back some more water in. This drain I feel is a little plugged up. Make 
make sure nothing's coming out of here. Stop that. Start and open it back up again. This is cleaning the bottom of that boiler off. Oh, stop it before the water goes out the hole. The bucket. Librarians are here. I'm gonna take this out and drain it. So the boiler doesn't have that much water left. Oh, well, maybe I should dump that one more time before I go. Yep, I'm gonna wait for this to come down a little. And then go. But it's starting to clear up, so. I think I got most of the gunk off the bottom. I'm gonna go dump it. Set a brick up underneath that bucket so I can catch that while I rewire everything on this side. So these are going to have to go, they're only a dollar, that's all I charge for them, but I'm not reusing them, boom. I mean, this is what they look like new, and this is after being in the boiler for a while. You can see it's indented on both sides, it may not make the same seal it once did. The other one. I also changed the friction ring. And this guy's stuck. I may not. And look, he's ripping around there. He's got to go. Oh, I'll get to him later. Let's put these on. Clean out the controls. So I want to flush water through here. Make sure that's clear. I always take one of the rods that protects the sight glass. I go in and out. It's a little muddy, but we'll see. Right on the side. No, nope, not on the floor, on the side. Yeah, right on the boiler. These have to go back on. So clear everything. There we go. Water starting to come through. That's good. Turn the water off. Clean right here off. It's always like this. So you can clean them every year. They always get like that. So that's draining. Let's get this side on. I can probably make one more rotation. And this is where it's gonna stop. 
coming out nice and clear. I like it. Stir some of the dirt. If not, it just plugs up the sight glass. See it come out every time. So that's just what's on the walls. So this is the first one that goes here. It doesn't really matter, but this is on the other side. This is the has to be manual reset. That's if this fails. The other one dropped the screw, so I gotta get it back on. So this looks pretty clear. I don't know why they had these off. I see some crustiness though. Maybe that's why, maybe they leaked. Where's the water up? Doesn't really rinse it too well like that, but. Close that valve off. All right, so I want to fill and flush here. So we'll fill. So the control. right here is it the solder joint Ugh. okay let's turn it off there this goes Sight glass would be. That looks nice and clean. Once this is closed. Stop the water from coming out of here. 
is in the bottom valve. But that's preventing a lot of dirt from going right into my sight glass. Off. Drop that water. clean or they don't seal. That looks nice and clean. Throw some paper towel. Yep, I don't have to change this. Just the internal. Sometimes you have to do this also. As long as it's clean on the inner part, it'll make a seal. This one, uh, let me flashlight's dying. Okay, that gasket's coming out. Servicing the boiler. I'm not replacing. And do you have when it's done? When it's done. Uh, I'm trying to get it back on, but I have to, put, I have to clean it out. Okay, yeah, because my director's not in yet. She's wanted an update. Yeah. So was that connected with whatever happened in the kitchen, or you don't know? Uh, there was a fire alarm last night that went off. Okay. I don't know anything else but with the boiler, but I know the fire alarm went off, but they want me to make sure the boiler's okay. That wasn't the cause. That's why the cooler's outside and whatever else is moved. Okay. Well, we know if that cooler is like... I know nothing of the cooler of what's going on with it. I just know it was moved. Okay. Yeah, because that w I didn't do anything with it, so... All right. Too good. That's okay. Let's scrape this. So we got a clean, smooth surface to mate to. This is why it was hard to get. Off it first. Friction ring. It's better to change them than to screw with them. A little bit of rust prevents a good seal. Like I said, they're a dollar, so that's all I charge for them. If I was charging more, okay, but I'm just gonna charge a dollar for them so make sure it goes on easy. And it does. It was a little gunky on the inside. anyway with the washers on. So I'm going to send this all the way through. This I'll start here. Hopefully the glass doesn't cut it. Sit about right there and where's this smooge? Okay, 
I'll find that if I gotta change the glass, but I think I can reuse it. Friction ring. Boom. And then up. This one now. Sometimes it's not worth the labor to be cleaning these. A five dollar nut or 40 bucks to clean it. <laughs> Make sure it spins on easy. Good. Looks like I reuse it. Clean it in the water. This is an interesting job because the town brought me in to do this and the people in the building have no idea that I'm, why I'm here. And I can't give them answers because I can only tell them I'm here to service the boiler, clean it up, make sure it's okay. Okay, so let's get this on. Friction ring. Dum dum dum. And I lost my washer. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, there it is. We got people dumber than a bag of rocks. They make your job harder. Okay, so that's ready to go back on. I gotta rewire that. So let's put this on. I'm gonna put the chip part up top. All I gotta do is get the gasket to this high and it won't leak because the gasket makes the seal. So I'm gonna make sure the top goes in enough. I can even put it on the bottom because the glass doesn't make the seal, it's the gaskets. Because the top gives me more play up and down. So if it does, tighten or the glass will break. Okay. That feels good. I'll try no wrench. Feels good. Glass doesn't move. Good. All right, let's see. If I open this and this, how much water is in my glass? Still overfilled. All right. So let me dump this bucket. And then I'll screw around the valves. Close that. And that. Time to put the controls back on. This is for here. No matter top or bottom. So 
just matters that it's there. Just like this. So bring this. This one's good. Now this one is for here. Same thing, doesn't matter where, as long as it's wired. Because it's just gonna break the circuit and turn everything off if this happens. Controls are back on. Put the covers on them. Say glass. This guy's a little crusty. Let's make a new gasket. Not worried as much on the threads as I am covering the middle, the face. So this way as this goes against that. It's not the threads I'm sealing. Just around the stem. All right, that's on. Just gotta put covers on, but grab everything, come over here, flip that. This is for the power exhaust over there. Where they're starting. should never come out of that anyway. It does is bigger problems than it leaking from that seal. This on, this one. The watch pot never boils, so. This one's for the limit.
Okay, so the water's a little low. So, because it's pretty low, let me check the lower cutoff and make sure it works. So here's a bucket. Slowly drain it down. If I go too fast, it's just gonna bang off. Well, actually, whatever. This guy should be killing it. We're below the probe. See, yeah, we're below the probe. Boom, we're off. Good. Low water cutoff works. That was an auto feed. Usually has like a 90 second well, 90 second feed. There's probably the B orifice in there, which is like barely opened. There's two, diff two or three different size orifices that you put in here to restrict the flow. So this way it just goes through, but it goes through slow. This is what happens a lot of times, not right now, but while it's operating, you may have it go off because you have so much steam up in your pipes. So then it may click, it gives it 90 seconds to allow all the condensation to come back down. And then it'll start filling if it's not full. But just waiting for this to click in. Let's see, are the lights on? Yep, it's blinking. So, it's ready to feed. There we go. So you can see it's slowly starting to rise. I'm not waiting for it to stop. Here we go, I'm opening the feed. So I have that open all the way. I'm gonna fill it to about right here. Somewhere in this range. I can even go a little higher. Somewhere in this range, I want it. Right there. All right. Boiler needs to restart, which it's doing. And we're lit. So I'm gonna let this run for a while. It's gotta build up some pressure. To make sure my controls are working. So the boiler's been running for a little bit. We're starting to get, we've got about a pound of pressure in there. So, it should shut off any second. Pound and a half. because I don't want to disengage the linkage. Yeah, or just uh, like a pound and a half right now, so. Big boiler, so heats fast. We're burning away. As you can see, plenty of room in the sight glass. Boiler pressure, just about two, a little over one and a half. Stuck at one. Uh, 
who knows if it works. <laughs> Hopefully it does. I don't see anything leaking. No main vents leaking. A little worried about this spot. Possible drip down from that. Now we're almost two. None of the air vents are hissing away upstairs. So it just shut off. I was checking the air vents on the other side, making sure nothing's leaking. Shut them off right about two. So that's good. We'll see where it cuts back in, make sure the cut off, the cut in still works pretty good. Nothing was rattled loose while I moved it around. Took it off because sometimes you could, the linkage comes off. We'll see where this goes back in. this in there, throw my tools are away and I'm ready to go. These are junk. They're not dropping fast because it's not supposed to. All the air vents I walked around the building looked good and all the radiators. So now it's just waiting for it to kick on. A lot of old piping. Maybe even some asbestos still surviving. I'm coming back on. Coming back on about one, but this is as low as I could set it, so gauge may not function 100% correct. But it is what it is. I'm out. Till next time.